It's time for a drink, lads. Yay! Here's a toast to freedom. Here's a toast to the sea. Here's a toast to the one who fired his shot and missed me. Here's a toast to treasure, for without it, where would we be? And here's a toast, me bully bully boys, to you and me. Oh, a toast! A toast! Here's to you and here's to me. And if we should ever disagree, to hell with you, here's to me. <laughs> here's to our wives, and here's to our girlfriends. May they never meet. <laughs> here's to the memories we'll never remember, and the friends we'll never forget. Here's a toast to plunder, here's a toast to piracy, and here's a toast to the jailer. I stuck out, he didn't see me. Here's a toast to the captain, for without him, where would we be? Here's a toast, me bully bully boys, to you and me. Arr, what wrong with you now, you evil green sea cow? I set out to find adventure, but then became lost. At last I'm now home, but at what cost? Arr, what have you done? Why will we pay? Can't you just magic our problem away? I would that I could, but today I just can't. I've awoken my father, causing him to rant. Uh, please just tell me, what have you done? Why is your father mad at his son? Down to the retirement home for elder cods called Rillier. Sadly, that's where I decided to play. Oh, my God, you've awoken your dad. He'll be furious and violently mad. I was too loud and angered many a retired god. He agreed that our show has gotten odd, so he's sending the king in yellow to now run our show. Now life's gonna suck and definitely blow. Uh, I'll summon the crew and I'll let them all know. You've ruined everything, especially the show. We were supposed to watch movies as we agreed, but you just had to go on an adventure. What an odd need. How long have we got? When will Haster show? Cthulhu, please tell me. The crew has to know. Our new show producer is Haster, that's true. But trust me, he won't be telling me what to do. <laughs> oh, why do you smirk? Why do you laugh? He'll destroy us all like a fatted calf. Your father sent me to fix this show. You were said it was starting to blow. You were right to warn you, boys. Do as I say, or I'll break all your toys. Setting out for adventure is thrilling and fun. Ah, but coming home is better, especially for you, Cthulhu's son. Oh god, I got no time for this now. What do you want, you green freak? I am the great and powerful Cthulhu! Oh, that's the one. <laughs> what in the world could you possibly need? What manner of evil are you here to breed? Well, I'm here because it's movie time. Not here because of reason or rhyme. Uh, magic like yours shouldn't be wasted bothering me, crew. You should be helping those less powerful than you. On this we both do agree. But now it's time for our movie. Uh, the curse of the magic lantern is upon me. Here are the facts about our movie. You know, I hate you, right? Oh, you know you love me. Well, on with the show. What? Oh, hi, uh, nice to meet you. I'm Cthulhu Jr. Uh, Yes, uh, could you start off a little bit by telling us some about yourself? Oh, well, um, uh, I grew up in Rillier. Uh, uh, I, my father is Cthulhu the Great, uh, always sleeping, never gets off his ass, you know, that guy. He, uh, uh, I, I haven't go, done any schooling, but I'm a, a talented person. Uh, it runs in the family. Uh, what previous experiences have you had in this industry? Oh, oh well, none at all. Uh, I'm just a big fan, really. I, I spend a lot of my time looking at pirated mo uh, movies that are, you know, uh, really good. And why is it that you want to get into this industry? Oh, well, I've always wanted to be a star. I mean, being star spawn of The Great Cthulhu is one thing, but being a movie star on the silver screen, well, that's another thing entirely. Okay. Well, what type of talents do you possess? Oh, well, I have great range. 
I can go very high and I can go very low because my uh, vocal cords are inhuman, of course. Hmm. I, can, I can do all sorts of things. I can speak every language from before humanity's creation. Uh, if you want to hear anything from Lang, I can sing a few operas from Lang if you want to hear those. Yes. Uh, looking at your uh, application, uh, you mentioned yourself being inhuman. You've left a few portions of it blank. Uh, you know, race, gender. Oh, well, race obviously is mm, star spawn. Uh, there, I'm the only one right now. Uh, you know, Papa doesn't get around very much. Uh, and as for gender, well, I don't have any. I'm completely non-binary, you see. Uh, no female, no male. You can check if you want. Mm. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you appear to be a little bit of a jokester, because uh, for where it said gender, you put, you know, or it actually uses the word sex, and you wrote in, yes, please. Well, I'm not going to turn down an offer if you're giving one. I've never been with an interviewer in L.A., but I hear that's how you get around here. That's how I get to the top, right? You gonna Weinstein me? Because <laughs> I'm not saying no. <laughs> and that was just a joke. I'm, I'm not accusing you of anything Cosby-esque. That the, me and my fellow elder gods haven't had a lot of exposure recently in movies and uh, or anything really except boring old dusty books. So do you think there's a reason you guys haven't had a lot of exposure? Or if seeing you like kills people, or I can't imagine where that comes from. I haven't eaten sailors in I don't know weeks. Does this mean we shouldn't show this interview tape to anyone? I, uh, no, no, no. I, I really want this job. I gotta have it. It's my greatest dream. Your greatest dream is to be an actor on a boat in a bathtub? Well, what's wrong with that? We all have to start somewhere, don't we? What is your relationship with the, uh, the captain, you would say? Well, according to the script, I love him. <laughs> <laughs> an, an elder abomination, can you define love as you understand it to me? Well, one tentacle goes into another. <laughs> They wrap around in a conical formation, helical fashion, that sort of thing. Do you have any experience with how elder things made? It's... The, uh, oh, uh, well, forget about that. I'll just say, I'm your guy. So since you like Godzilla so much, how do you feel about the little blue spawn stitch? Uh, what? Obviously Is this a not... Disney movie? I didn't sign up for a Disney movie. Do you know that Disney guy? He's an asshole. You know he hates Jews? <laughs> <laughs> and your feelings on Jews apparently are different? Oh no, I, I'll eat Chinese people, but I won't eat Jews. They're too salty. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I don't associate with that Disney fucker. Okay, no more Mel Gibsoning, okay? <laughs> Who's the secondary interviewer? I didn't know there was a panel involved with this. Actually, we do have one more series of questions. There's for three you. people now? Uh, four. 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 We're keeping track. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, I'm looking over your uh, information here, and what do you think some of these uh, references of yours would have to say? Uh, you list a North. What, what is this? North. Uh, oh, that's North Oh, uh, oh, he's a good friend of mine. He's the one who hangs out the most with you uh, uh, squishy human people. Takes the form of a pharaoh. He recently has, um, has been involved with this company called Apple. He was, he was Steve Jobs, is what I'm saying. He's an inhuman monster. Wait, you're, you're saying one of the greatest human minds of the 20th century. Oh, did you really think that a human could do all those things? Well, of course we can. Why couldn't we? Oh, okay. Name one smart human ever. Fair enough. Okay, yeah, uh, there you go. Okay. Okay, yeah, uh, there you go. Okay, uh, second reference here is, uh, uh, I really am not sure what this writing is, and I'm feeling awful fuzzy just looking at it, but... Uh, yeah, you should probably stop. <laughs> uh, it's an A, uh, what, what is this? Azathoth? Azathoth? 
Oh, uh, I thought it was as a thought. Okay, uh, yeah. Well, what would this one have to say about you? Oh, probably something along the lines of... <laughs> and then followed by the destruction of all of the Earth. <laughs> or something similar to that. I really wouldn't call it if I were you. I think that just about does it unless you have any talent. You know what? Actually, we do have a, a large amount of required singing um, <gasps> as part of this. Can you sing us a little ditty? Oh, I can sing you all sorts of ditties. Go for it. G give us one. Do you have a banjo, Laylee? Doesn't matter. I can just do it here. Hey there, Cthulhu. Don't you be sad. You mustn't dwell on the negative and bad. Oh, fish. I hear what you say. I didn't want them mad. I just wanted to play. Oh, adventures can be wonderful things, just not when you involve the elder things. Don't dwell on the negative and bad. All it will do is make you sad. You should focus now more on the positive at hand. Don't let the moments pass by like hourglass sand. Hmm. You know, Fish, you're a special and odd sort. Thank you for that beautiful retort. You should go now before I count to three, lest I eat you again like when you were at sea. Oh my god, no. He's talking to that fish. How dumb. His brain must be completely numb. We should just cook it up for a tasty dish. I have a fish. Bye. <laughs> are, are you really going to make me do this, aren't you? Oh, Captain, how are you? Uh, don't give me that crap. Fine, what's wrong? <sighs> Our bad day's always so long. You know, this rhyming thing is getting old. <laughs> so I've been told. If you make it go away, you'll stay! And quit! Oh, I like it! Now, Cthulhu! Oh, mm, Cthulhu. Mm. Oh, shit, nothing rhymes with Cthulhu! Oh, okay, the rhyming curse is removed. <laughs> Look, I know you like screwing folks. But just because you have a bad hair day, doesn't mean you should take it out on the whole crew, Cthulhu! Mm. Captain, you're a good friend. Prisoner. Tomato, tomato! You know, I cringe to ask. W what are we even doing tomorrow? Well, you're gonna teach me about love! Next time on Shipwreck Theater presents Cthulhu and Friends! It's time for a drink, lads. Hey! Here's a toast to freedom! Here's a toast to the sea! Here's a toast to the one who fired his shot and missed me! Here's a toast to treasure, for without it, where would we be? And here's a toast, me bully bully boys, to you and me! Oh, a toast! A toast! Here's to you and here's to me. And if we should ever disagree, to hell with you. Here's to me. <laughs> here's to our wives and here's to our girlfriends. May they never meet. Here's to the memories we'll never remember and the friends we'll never forget. Here's a toast to plunder. Here's a toast to piracy. And here's a toast to the jailer. I stuck out, he didn't see me. Here's a toast to the captain. For without him, where would we be? Here's a toast, me bully bully boys, to you and me. 